But we are just one day away now from Boeing's first crewed launch from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Boeing's Starliner capsule and ULA's Atlas V rocket are on the pad right now with a launch time scheduled for 1225 tomorrow afternoon. And right now all systems are go. New 6's Molly Reed has the latest on this test mission. Uh, I know it's been a long road to get here. After a nearly month-long delay, Boeing and NASA say the Starliner will be ready tomorrow afternoon to send two astronauts to the International Space Station for an eight-day mission. We'll dock about 25 and a half hours later at about 1.50 uh, p.m. Boeing is working to prove to NASA its Starliner capsule is the way to get astronauts to the ISS in hopes the agency will certify the spacecraft for rotational missions. This is a test flight. We know we're going to learn some things. Uh, we're going to improve. We know what we have to go do today and have been doing that over the last year. And, and that plan uh, closes by November to have a certification review with NASA. The Starliner has flown in the past without a crew, but tomorrow veteran NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be on board. I can say that they've been in quarantine for uh, since uh, end of April. They're very excited to go uh, to go launch uh, soon. Um, but it, it's been a, a great process uh, learning more about Starliner along the way. Boeing has had several setbacks getting this crude test launch off the pad. The launch originally set for May 6th, but a leak in the capsule kept it grounded. The crews conducted a flight readiness test on Wednesday. In a continuous monitoring mode and we'll continue to work the launch preps and the launch countdown leading up until tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. when the launch uh, team will come in and start supporting the mission. Uh, so far, there's been no issues that we've been working with the spacecraft. At Cape Canaveral, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6. Again, liftoff is set for 1225 tomorrow afternoon. When it happens, you can count on live coverage before, during, and after the crewed launch on air on News 6 and clickorlando.com and the News 6 YouTube channel. And we want to see your launch pictures, whether it's from your backyard, the beach, or one of the prime viewing spots. Upload your photos and videos of the launch to New Six's pin it page. Use the Space Channel to share. You can find it on clickorlando.com slash pins, and we look forward to seeing all those great pictures.